Hi, my name is Willix, and this is episode 7 of Modern Skyblock 3. Well, I've gone ahead and set up some drawers, and we're going to be uh, setting up a loot bag opener and have it auto-feed into those drawers. And I've come up with what I think is a very innovative way of sorting through the stuff so the st hoppers don't get stuffed up. But we'll get more into that in a little bit. In the meantime, we're going to get started by making, uh, working our way up to an osmium casing so we can be a little bit more efficient doing things over here because we're going to need some uh, glowstone and stuff to move forward. We're also going to uh, go over how to, uh, you know, making a colossal chest and we're going to go over making some uh, soul sand and how to get uh, quantities of uh, nether wart, etc. So we've got a few interesting things we're going to do today. So let's get started. First off, uh, I made a bunch of redstone off camera, but I haven't made any for you on camera yet. So let's do that first. So you see stacks of redstone showing up in my inventory. You're going, where did that come from? So I already made that in advance. So let's get rid of that so I don't get myself confused. And we are going to use cobble now. So I'll get myself aimed. Am I the right distance away? Uh, looks a little better there. And then it's two of these, three of these. There we go. Let's do that again. And that got us our 16. So we're going to take those. Actually, I should have had this set already. And we're going to take our auto smelting pickaxe. And we just made it into a bunch of nether brick. So we're going to take this over here. We're going to take the nether brick. Make it into an actual brick. Not like that. And we've got our nether brick casing. What the hell? Who are you and where'd you come from? Oh, I know what I haven't done. I didn't light up the tops of that. Let's uh, deal with that right now. I don't want any more surprises. I don't know if this will get them all, but it'll get at least some of them. Okay. Anyways, back to what we were doing. So now we have our casing. So let's come over here. Right click that, pull it out. Break this. Because we need the heat from this uh, nether brick one to make the uh, glowstone. See, it's 30, uh, 3,000. Okay, so now to make glowstone, glowstone is redstone and blaze, four redstone and two blaze. And we're going to need a bit of this, so. Oh, it would help if I put some coal in there. I walked over here to get some, whoops, I'll take half of it. Coal is easy for me to come by now, I just use a axe on that and I have over a stack of coal each time. One, two, three, four. All four went in there. They did. Whoops. Well, that's not what I meant to do. Let's try that again. Oh, 
A little bit of lag confuses me. When things don't look like they're going in, but they do. Why, what are you hitting? There we go. So we got them. I'm going to need one piece of glass. And we'll stick the one piece of glass in here. Then we'll grab our clay. We're going to need ten of it. So we'll put in twenty glowstone, ten clay, and let it do its thing. So in the meantime, we're going to make ourselves a cru crucible inserter. So we've got the dropper that we had from before and some iron. So I'm not using that dropper anymore. And we'll come over here, we'll come up on these stairs, and we'll put it there. And we take our crystal shards, that's what you get from putting glass in that alchemical thing. Put it in there, and we'll now auto-insert into it. Now, why am I not using this one? Why am I considering using that one? Well, when we come over here and we take a look, we're going to get eight of these. And if I take the eight of those and I put them in here, I'll get four ore. And then I can double it over there. So that would give me eight. But if I put it in here, I expect to get 12. So that's what we're doing. I'm surprised you guys didn't correct me on this one when I spoke about it last time. Now I know it varies depending on what you're making. Um, that just happened to be with the osmium, which is what I was making right now. I haven't had to make a lot of metals because I'm getting lots of gold and lots of iron from uh, loot bags. All right, so while that's doing its thing, we'll make a cauldron. We'll come over here and place it down there. Then we'll grab our bucket and we'll grab... No, we won't grab our bucket yet. We'll do something else first. I have a bunch of netherrack here. Now, I'm not going to use Shift-K this time. I'm going to stick it in here because I haven't bothered to set up how it auto-feeds into this. And actually, that wasn't quite the right amount. I was off by a little bit. Oh, well. 18 is what I wanted, so that's okay. We just have four extra. The... Uh, there's a two by two that it will make instead of what it just did. So I haven't bothered to figure out how I set it so it only does the three by three. Because I just don't care that much. Where is our... There it is. So we'll throw all of this stuff in there. No, I need my redstone. I don't need that stuff. This is what I was looking for, was the dirty quartz. So then what we do is we take that, put it in here, shift right click. And I don't think I have any method yet of auto-feeding the water into that. I will, but not yet. There we go. So we got 17 quarts from that. That should be enough for what we want to do. Uh, where are we over here? Oh, I know what else I needed to do that I haven't done yet. We need to take one iron. Put it there. Grab a hammer. And we needed one plate. Actually, let's get rid of
rid of some of this other stuff we got in here too. That'll do. Um, no, I should have got rid of the bucket. We'll come over here with our one plate. And we'll drop it down there. Now we can hammer down a piece of iron that way, but we can't do that with osmium. Whoops, that's not what I want. I want two gold. Takes two to make a cast. We'll put that in there. Turn this on. And we got 11 osmium. Oh, it's still working. Are we going to get one more out of it? 12! Yes! That's what I needed. I needed 12 of them. There, and that's done. And, oops, I don't want to put all 12 in there. I need... Oops. 8. Put 8 in there. And then this 4 here, we use that to make a gear, which is... Like that. Makes us an osmium gear. And you're still doing your thing. So we'll move on to some other stuff here. Okay, so we've got our nether quartz now. We'll make six redstone comparators. We'll take two of them here. That makes our drawer controller. We'll take the rest of these and we'll make two controller slaves. I'm going to need some hoppers. And we just started being able to make a timer. So redstone, storage, tone, clock. Make a timer. And an advanced redstone repeater from random things. Simple recipe, stone, redstone, iron. And let's come over here and see how this is going. We've got our eight plates. So we put, whoops. And we've got our osmium casing. See, the efficiency is 130, not 40. So much better. So put down our, whoops, not over there. Now, we would like to be able to upgrade the inside, but I think we're going to need to wait till we've got steel for our next upgrade. And we can't make that yet. And that, but what we really want is manuleum. And we can't do that until we've got a proper smeltery or some other way of making alloys. Because that thing over there won't make alloys. So there we go. This thing's all set up, and it can handle 3,000, and it's much more efficient. All right, let's move on. Colossal chest walls. So we're get, we need 26 of them to complete the quest. That's going to make us a three by three. I've already made a couple of these. Colossal chest core. and four of the interfaces. Oh, I know what else I want to do. It's not in this list here. I want some more glowstone. Now that it's a little more efficient, we can do it. One, two, three, four. Uh, 
I did something wrong. One came out, I think. No, numbers still don't look right. Why is stuff popping out on me? And we need to do that one more time. This is actually unnecessary for what I'm doing. I just think it will make for a better way for you to see what I'm doing. Need three of those, and what we're making is some lamps. Okay. So when I try to explain this, it's going to be a lot easier to explain if I do it with lamps instead of the uh, hoppers. Now I need my drawer controller and my two slaves. So I'm going to put my controller right over here. Now before I forget, I'm going to take my key. And there, that locks everything. And we're going to put our two slaves right there and there. And there's going to be hoppers feeding into these. But for now, I'm going to put some lamps where the hoppers are going to be so that you can see what's going on with my redstone wiring first before I actually hook it up to the thing. So now, uh, I didn't break building blocks. These will do. That one doesn't need to be there. Okay. Did I bring redstone torches? Yes, I did. So one redstone torch on there. Now see that how that's lighting that up right now. It won't be in a sec. Then I'm going to need another one Another block right there. Put another torch there. And for the and a torch over here. And we're gonna go up top for the rest of this. Okay, this block isn't supposed to be here. And we need to put a piece of redstone down there, redstone there, and there. Then we're going to put, where's our relay? Oops. Our relay down there and our timer here. We're going to set the timer for... I don't know the correct number. I'm wild guessing this so far. Uh, from very limited testing. Not enough testing at all. And I'm going to take that and put it at 120. So that is the delay. And... So as you can see right now, the middle one is lit. When it isn't getting a signal, the hopper allows stuff to flow through. So if we've got a bag opener here feeding down into this hopper, and then when it gets a signal, it stops this one from trying to send anything, and the one below it will start pulling from it and it will have a chance to put anything that accidentally made it down to the fir to the second one in here then eventually this one will shut off that one will pull whatever's left in this one and shove it into a colossal chest over here so let's put in our colossal chest So up top, it's going to be all walls.
and you deliberately leave the middle one empty and we're gonna put our uh, core right there so I'll make the front over this side then we're gonna take those interfaces so we can put hoppers and things on it there and then we're gonna fill in the rest those and that makes our colossal chest so it's something like 26 or 27 chests on that 3x3 three three. all right we'll come up here oh I know what I should have stayed down there and done so now you have an idea on how this works And what we're going to do is we're going to take our hoppers and we're going to put one hopper into this up here, one into this one, and one into that chest there. See the interface? Just sit there. So this one, this torch is going to be affecting that one, this torch is going to be affecting that one and then the line up top is going to be affecting the top one. Oh, and one other thing that I would like is let's grab a piece of glass and should have done this in advance. Why do I still have a red tone torch? Oh well. There, so I don't fall through all the time. I'll leave this one open so we can look inside these things. But uh, other than that, now, so what we want is. Did I not craft the loot bag opener? I didn't. Okay. Uh, open. Well, that's easy. No, we don't want that many of those. Damn it. Let's get rid of some of the stuff I'm carrying around here. I'll do it like this. Okay, so now we take our loot bag opener. And we're going to put it right there. So as you can see, it's got an inventory. The loot bags come in the top here. They get opened up and shove the stuff in there. Now, this thing is deliberately set to common loot bags. No, I'm not setting it to legendary. You get 20, sorry, 256 commons or one legendary. Now, all the legendary really gives you is a smaller loot table. You can get everything out of commons you can get from a legendary, or even the higher end bags than that one. And you get 256 times as many of them if you use commons. Now, for the higher end stuff, a legendary might, I, I don't know what the figure is, four times, let's say it was 10 times as much chance of getting what you wanted on the high end stuff, like one of those m mega, legendary loot things and but if you've got 256 tries you're still way better off using common loot bags so we're going to be opening commons the way we're doing it and we're going to put this there so now it's feeding these in these things are popping into there coming down here it's shoving what it can over huh, it's already got that how did it get that already so most of the stuff is getting fed in there notice how this thing's sort of hanging out here it has nowhere to go because it's 
enchanted. So eventually this thing's going to fire. That goes down below into this. And it ended up over here. Now that actually had a place to go, I think. Let's check. So it's by no means 100%. See, yeah, it should have gone over here. So I may need to play with my timing a little bit and get it a little bit better on the timing. But other than that, like, see, this one's all stuffed up. That, I want a place for it. The other stuff, not so much. Actually, there was a split place for that wand, but... So yeah, I'm going to be doing... There was a place for gold horse armor. I'm pretty sure there was. Yeah, right there. Why didn't it get it? Now what happens with these actually is there's two hoppers underneath here. All the gold stuff that I'm going to melt down comes into here. And all the iron stuff is going to be coming into this one. But I'm going to have to play around with that a little bit, sort it out, maybe play with my timing a little bit. But a couple other things I want to do before we end this episode. One, I want to make the watering can, so it's just a bowl. That's just three pieces of wood and some stone. And we're going to make ourselves some soul sand. Actually, it should already be done by now. Soul sand is made by putting sandy netherrack in a freezer. Sandy netherrack is netherwort, sand, and netherrack. And guess what? I already put some in there. Actually, more than I needed. And we're going to grab some netherwort that has come out of these uh, bags here. Uh, not netherwort. We want one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And oh, we need to fill up our watering can. So I'm just holding right click here. I'm going to come over here and we're going to remove some of these. Which I probably should have stuck it in a corner, but oh well. Whoops. Where's my soul scent? There it is. And the reason I'm doing it this way is I can't use bone meal or the uh, whatever that plant stuff was that grows things quickly it w doesn't work on the on the stuff so I wanted you to see how I was getting these now see this thing does work on them So I'll be doing my, that off camera most of the time. But you aim at the middle one and it does all nine of them. But that's how I'm going to be getting the extra nether work. Okay, but enough of that for now. See, I've got 16 in that short period of time there. So that won't take too long. One other thing, if I can make it now. Um, Is it a lamp? Uh, what's it called? A feral lamp. There it is. So we need glowstone and glass and gold. So we're going to need some more glowstone. I'm going to need another 12 of it. We had three. Oh, 
I was it, right? But it's four redstone and that. Okay. Where'd it go? All the way over there. You trying to get away on me? Actually, I put the wrong amount in there. Do I need that much? Yeah, one. What did I do wrong? Yeah, I needed 16 of them. So we want to do that. Get our four glowstone. And four feral lamps. Now these things might confuse you. Slowly illuminates a large area. Removing the lantern causes the lights to slowly decay. What does that mean? Slowly illuminates a large area? How big an area? Well, I went and did a whole pile of testing. And I spent over half an hour testing this thing to figure out what it could and could not do. And basically what it does is after you place it, it starts placing invisible lights out in the world. And I got 15s as far as 20 away from the feral lamp. So at the 15, it would then go out from there, you know, 14, 13, etc. So they do do quite a large area. Now you got to be careful when you place these things because it can place the things through walls. So if I have, if it's within 20 of my mob farm up there, it could drop a light in there. So I'm going to sort of hide them down below, since it can go through walls anyways. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put them down here. And I actually wanted to put it right where that torch is, but I'd have to move my, uh, my snowman if I was going to put it there. So it's going to go right there like that. Now it's going to be able to light up above it as well. And it'll just start dropping lights wherever and I'm gonna put the see it's already dropping you can see the lights showing up and I'm gonna put them on the 25s remember I put all the torches on the fives these are gonna be on the 25s so as you can see from my mini map there I'm at a thousand and ten twenty five Now I'm going to move either get rid of this thing or move it around. I'm probably just going to get rid of it. Oh, well, to hell with that. And here's another 25, which is 975 and 1000. And I figured that was a pretty good overlap because they can't be 50 away. You could have put them on the 50s. That wouldn't be cl close enough to each other. But on the 25s, there's plenty of overlap. And that should work out. Now, notice my time is... We're right in the morning. So what we've got to do is run around and break the torches. Let's hit F7 while we're doing this. Is it F7 that shows? Yeah, it is. Because if the torches are here, it can't place the lights. Because it has to be under 10 for it to place the light. So anyways, I'm going to run around and do that. I'm going to break all of these. But I think that pretty much covers it for this episode. 
I hope you found out something worthwhile from it. I hope you enjoyed it. Go out there and have some fun. Thanks.